biomimicry is looking to nature to find the design solutions to the environmental problems that man has created for himself. San Diego Zoo is, it holds several thousand species. We are stewards to several thousand species. We are a living laboratory or a living library. We can form the nucleus to connect the, 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 all of those that are interested in finding these design solutions. Uh, we become the creative center, the facilitator, the place where people can come together to try to talk to each other. As we come into our last panel of the day, we are going to focus on biomimicry in business, and in particular, what does biomimicry bring to the field of business, and what does business bring to biomimicry? So if you look at nature, you have such a vast potential to innovate around this, the, the themes, and if you have a problem, before you try to invent something new, look first into nature. It really speeds up your innovation process and speeds up your product development process. What excites me about biomimicry is the potential to serve as the bridge between the economy and the environment uh, to allow us to both achieve economic growth while we also protect the environment. It's been a fascinating process for us to use biomimicry as a lens of innovation and that crosses everything from product design all the way through to organizational design. That there is benefit really in, in many strata throughout the business and if I were to say as an example uh, consumer portable devices the whole manufacturing process the chain uh, and cell phones if you were to look at it it's not just a consumer benefit that you're delivering on it's not just a conscientious green uh, benefit that you're delivering on it's also typically lower bill of materials so if you could possibly put in a, a 250 milliamp battery in a cell phone over an 800 150 milliamp battery. Not only are you slowing the entry of toxic chemicals into landfills, but you're possibly reducing the bill of materials cost. And so it's advantages like this that exist throughout the entire design chain. So I, I think one of the advantages of using nature for innovation is also that the, the solutions are inherently sustainable. You're delivering on a need that exists already, but you can do it in a nature-based way. That's just good business. Qualcomm's interest is, is that nature-based design is inherently more efficient and if efficiency really doesn't equal good business and so if you have a, a trend in the marketplace and need to fulfill, you know, I think all the biomimetics is asking, hey, look at nature first and see what, see what can be born from that and if you do that, chances are you're actually going to benefit greatly from that in terms of natural design that has, believe it or not, a positive uh, return on investment and a positive return on the environment. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you.